Are you the type of person that spends lots of steels and materials and his hero at the end looks like this? <laughs> Are you struggling to find a boyfriend or a girlfriend because you're so insecure? Well, go no further because Uncle Hollow got your back. On the first one. Not the second one. What? You're here for the second one too? Uh... Uh... uh Maybe, maybe leave a like and subscribe and leave some comments for me. I'm, I might uh, uh, guide you in the next guide video that I'm going to publish. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the channel. This is Hollow Warden. And today we have a special guide on how to customize every hero that you want to customize. This is a, this is, th these tips are are basically can be applied for any heroes and it's going to help you have more drip tip number one reach reputation eight and then start customizing your heroes why because before reputation eight you did not unlock all the armor variants so if you waste your scavenger boxes or steel on getting the new uh, variants it won't give you the new variants on the legendary so basically reach rep 8 in order to unlock all the variants and then spend your scavenger ge gears or steel to get your new armors that will save you so much steel and scavenger boxes tip number two Skins do not provide much customization values. This tip is for you guys that who do not know, but uh, beware of that. Skins only can be customized through materials and the color. Like you can't add patterns, you can't change any part. It's basically a skin, you can only change the material on it. For example, the armor material and uh, change the cloth color only that so that's not the ideal thing for people who like to make unique characters because your skin might be identical to another one's skin tip number three choose a theme now you might like think it's funny but trust me you need to think about what kind of personality your hero wants to have. Like, for example, I make a warden with a dark uh, and like evilish armor and dark material. I'm aiming for a character who has a dark past or doing dark stuffs or is like it's so mean and stuffs. So like think about what kind of character you want to give. Like if your hero is a chivalrous one, uh, you can, for example, go for brighter colors, uh, or like he's a, he's a very savage one. You can go for more reddish or more wild patterns, like blood-stained patterns, for example. So yeah, play with that. Have a theme in your mind, and it will help you better on choose how to start customizing. Tip number four, choose an armor piece for your base customization. What does it mean? So now you have chosen your character. You want to, for example, go for a helm. You, you like this helm. You really like this one. So you choose this helm and then build other parts of your hero. For example, the chest piece, the arm piece uh based on that helmet see which part goes even the weapons see which part goes well to that for example helmet for example chest piece that you have chose as your main and your center so always have a center i, I always do that i choose a helmet for example for wardens or for many heroes i choose a helmet and then build around that helmet tip number five play with the armor base material and the material that you can add 
in the customization setting. What does it mean? Some armors have their base materials on, some of them uh, does not have this feature they are all fully metal and you can just uh, add any material on it and, and it be full for example add uh, black material it will full be black but some armors do not uh, obey this pattern they have their own color on them and only some parts of their armor piece will be changing into that material that you're using so in order to like uh, use this feature it's a very nice feature use more vibrant and vivid materials and more sh uh, add, add, do not add the metallic ones the shining ones because it won't stand out but like the ones that are not shiny will stand out a lot and like give proper edges to your uh, armor piece or any any part of your armor i like to add this to uh, vikings or some other heroes do not uh, go well with materials because they are basically out of cloth. So instead of going to the materials and playing with the materials, you still can have so much fun with the materials, even in uh, cloth heroes. But patterns will help you more if, if your hero has less materials and more cloth on it. Tip number six. Many people sleep on this one but use symbols. Like, uh, I've seen many people, myself included, use uh, embossings more, embossings more, but do not use uh, the symbols. But symbols can be so much better than the embossings because you can use actually symbols on the patterns. Embossings do not go well with the patterns because patterns will cover the embossing and it will be just a mess. You can distinguish between the embossing and the pattern. It, it will be just a mess. You can't actually do anything with it. But the symbol goes really well with the patterns, especially some patterns that you want to use. And some symbols actually add more to the face. Also, I really, really recommend to go for the symbols if you're, uh, if you're customizing a hero that has a facial uh, customizable uh, piece of armor. Like for Warden, you can actually choose uh, the pattern for the face, the front face. It's so good. So basically use the symbols. Do not um, slip on that one. And that's it. Uh, ornaments. Bloody ornaments. Yep. Ornaments are very great for customization. Do not use so many, like, you know, spiky or so much edgy uh, ornaments. If you want to go for a clean one, if you want to be more edgy, you can use some more edgy <laughs> ornaments. It's you. But uh, some ornaments go very good with some pieces of armor. So you need to be very picky about the ornaments. And some of them can be acquired from the through the rank, and yeah, good luck with that. Effects help a lot, especially when I first told you uh, go for a theme. The effects will help you with that theme. You want a chivalrous, uh, for example, knight, a warden, a chivalrous warden. You can go for the uh, sunbeam for him. That'll add more to his character. You want a dark version, you can go for the bats, you can go for the darkness effect, anything. Another thing that really helps to add more immersion to your character is using specific executions for your characters. Like if he is a savage, like he has a savage trait, go for more bloody uh, and messy executions. If he's honorable, go for, for example, like this one, go for an honorable execution also in between this i want to add another thing that is emotes emotes are awesome they can as i mentioned before add more to your character like you can have a cocky character for example you can have a very serious character a very funny character a very kind character and stuff like that so use those emotes as well 
And the final tip about the effects is that sometimes, and effects and the ornaments, sometimes you want a specific effect and ornament, but it's locked behind a illustration, for example, pattern that you can like go to the uh, left side of your customization and go there and you see the full thing that has the patterns, they have the illustration, has the ornament you want. So, my opinion is if you're not using real money to buy steel and you're a type of person who grinds for steel, wait for an off for a discount and then go and buy it. Buy it. But if, you, if you're not, you can just like, spend money and go for it. All right, it's time to wrap up the video. Thank you for watching until now. And with a final tip that I'm willing to share with you guys is do not try to add everything to every part of your armor keep it simple just like if you if you like you can add some symbols to the hands or some embossings to the hands but do not add so much because it'll just make it messy and confusing so yeah go for the simple stuff it always works the simple stuff always works so Again, thank you. I hope it was useful for you. If it was useful, be sure to leave a like. Tell me in the comment what do you think about some customization tips that you think you have and I didn't say. Be sure to put it in the comments. I'm going to pin it. And see you guys in the next video.